Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Many people have asked me how to get a nice finish on your rocket with all these deep spirals in the paper tubes. Well, as I've shown you before in my basic construction videos, which you can get from the Apogee Components websites, just go to the download link at the top of the page. Um, you'll see there that I, I talk about using just regular sandable primer to fill these uh, spirals in the tube. The only time I actually um, use something other than that is on high power tubes, particularly uh, tubes made out of the blue tube material like this one or ones that are phenolic. Uh, what happens on those tubes is the paint just kind of wicks away from the actual spiral, leaving the spiral behind. So no matter how many times you fill it with the sandable primer, it always seems to be uh, that the spiral never goes away. So. For that, you do have to fill the spirals, and the magic material is actually the product called Fix It Epoxy Clay, which is a two-part epoxy that uh, looks like clay, and you mix it together, and it, it will harden into a rock-hard ball like this one. Um, but this stuff works really good for filling spirals because um, it fills the spirals, it sticks to everything, and um, it uh, accepts paint really well. So right here, what I've gone ahead and done is already mixed up a little bit of uh, the, the uh, epoxy clay. Let me get this out of the way here. And uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of uh, work it into a little snake. Um, and then I'll find the beginning of the spiral, which is right here. And I'm just going to just kind of wash my fingers here. I'm just going to kind of press it into that spiral. And as you can see, as I'm going along, it's kind of wicking out, and I'm, and I'm kind of pushing my little worm down with my other finger so I can continue as much as possible. And that's pretty much enough for, for right now. And any of the excess I can kind of take off like that. Um, but that's still a lot of uh, epoxy in there, and that's going to take a lot of sanding later, and I hate sanding. So what I'm going to do is take a razor blade, and I'm just going to scrape along, but I want to keep the razor blade perpendicular to the surface. And as you can see here, as I, I scrape it, you can see I took off probably 95% of it and just left a little bit into the spiral. And that's all you need. Um, and then once this hardens, and I've done this tube here, and this is a big 5.5 inch tube, and this is hardened last night. Um, and then I just take a sanding pad, and I can just sand it down. And I'll just sand off everything that is not in the spiral. And if you look closely here, that spiral is perfectly filled. And now it's ready for the primer and then finally the painting. So basically that's all you need to do. Again, the magic material is the fix it epoxy clay. That's the best stuff that I've ever found for uh, filling spirals. And it also makes great fillets here. Now this, uh, you saw how much was in the tub. This tub was completely full and I probably used a quarter of it to fill all the, to make the fillets on all these fins. And so a tub like this will probably last you at least like four of these big size rockets. And if you're doing smaller rockets, it's going to be a lot more. So this is really good value too. So my name is Tim Van Milligan. Uh, you're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop here at the Apogee Components website. Our web address is www.apogeerockets.com. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.